hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to show you how to make this amazing circular menu design using only html and css as you can see here on my computer screen i have this one amazing background color also i have this one amazing uh, menu icon and when i click you can see my menu list on this menu list you can see there's some beautiful hover effect also we'll create this amazing circular menu design using all html and css so kindly before starting this video do subscribe to our youtube channel and also share with your fellow developers so without wasting time let's start the video hello guys welcome back again so here i have one folder called circular menu inside this folder i have two files one for my html and one for my css simply we're going to open this folder on our text editor so simply right click and say open with code now here you can see I have one two files uh, in my text editor. You can see I have index.html and also style.css. Also you can see on my index page I have written the basic HTML structure and also you can see I have this one title and, and this link. This for my link that I've connected to CSS. And now on our style.css it's empty. Now come back to your index.html. Simply we're going to add some JS libraries. So I'll say link. And here in the href, it's empty now. So simply we need to add a link here. So simply go to this website. Click the first link. And we need to add a library called normalize. Simply search this, normalize, click this, and we are going to choose the version uh, which is going to be 5.00. Simply copy the first one, copy URL, come back to your text editor, in the href, simply paste it. Next, we are going to add a uh, JS script source and again we'll go back to this website and this time we'll search something called prefix free simply choose this one simply copy the url come back to your text editor simply copy paste and now we are all set next what we need to do come under the body under the body we'll create one div with a class name nav menu or we can say menu inside this div we'll create or simply we don't need to create a div let's start creating with nav inside this nav we'll add a class called menu inside this nav we need to add ul and li so i'll start with ul and also in this ul i need to add list and i will add my anchor tag simply i'm going to give a hashtag which means i'm not going to add any link so the first here i'm going to add my text home and this href we're going to say home simply we're going to duplicate this simply copy and paste multiple times change your text Next, I'm going to say blogs. Last, we're going to add one more list item, and this is going to be contact. Also, change your own href. I'm going to add contact. So, whenever I click this link, it will say, uh, take me to the this particular page. Okay, contact. Now after this we need to add some styling so simply let's save this file and let's go back to our folder simply we're going to open this in our browser simply double click index and here you can see we have our menu list 
So you can see when we click, it takes us to the same page that we click. Next, we need to add some styling. So go to style style.css. Here we'll add we'll start with the body. And for the body, we'll add font family. Also, we need to add background. Next, I'll start with my class menu. For this menu, I want position to be relative. Also, we'll add background. Next, we'll add width of 3 em. Height, border radius, margin top, and for my margin top, I'll give 15 em. Also, before this, after this, we need to add margin to be auto. Next, we'll add margin bottom. 5 em also we'll add casa to be pointer next i'll add border and i'll give it 1 em solid and i'll add my color so next we need to say is menu after and here we need to add content and for my content, I'll leave it blank. Position to be absolute. Top. Left. With 1 em. Also, we need to add height of 0 0.2 em. Em. Next, I'll add border top, 0.6 em, and I'll say double. And also, I'll add color white. Next, I'll say border bottom. And for my border bottom, I'll give it the same 0.2 em solid white. Now, simply save this file. Go back to your browser, refresh your web page, and now you can see we have our background color, and also on our menu we have this amazing color. Come back to your text editor. Next, we need to style our URL. So I'll say menu. Sorry, it should be dot menu URL. Now here I'm going to add list style to be none. Also, we'll add padding of zero. Next, we need to style our list, so I'll say menu. Why do I keep forgetting the dot? So it should be dot menu list. Let me just remove this closing uh, curly braces. So next, I'll say width of 5 em. Also, we'll add height 1.4 em. Padding. 0.2 em also we need to add margin top of 0.2 m next we need to say text align to be center border top so i'm going to choose border top right radius and for this one i'll add 0.5 em also we need to add for the left one so i'll say border border top left radius or we can just change this to bottom and for this one i'll give it the same value 0 0.5 em next we need to do or let me just change this to right instead of left next we need to do we need to add transition so i'll say transition i'll give it all one second 
background opacity to be 0 also we'll add z index of negative 1 next we need to add some mob effect on our list so i'll say menu over list li okay and for this one i'll add opacity to be one next we'll say menu again over sorry not after hover and i'll say ul before open calibrises so i'll add position to be absolute also we'll add content empty with zero and height to be zero also we'll add display to be block next i'll add left to be 55 percent again i will say top to be negative 5.0 em also we need to add border radius and for my border radius i'll give 0 0.7 0.5 em again i'll say 7.5 em zero this is for all the sides okay again what we need to add is border left and for this one i'll give it zero next we'll add border style to be to be solid also we'll add border color And this one I'll add RGBA. And here I'll give my value 0, 0. zero, zero, zero. Then I'll say 0 0.01. Zero, Next we'll add Z index of 1. Or let's choose negative one sorry should be negative one lastly i'll add casa to be default next we need to style our anchor tag so i'll say menu a that's a means my anchor tag for this one i'll add color to be white also i'm going to add text decoration to be none and also my line height to be 1.5 em next i'm going to say me dot menu ul again here i want to add transform and i'll say translate or we can choose rotate instead because we want it in circular okay so i'll say rotate 180 degrees and also i will add translate y to be negative 2 yeah 2 em okay also we'll add transition and i'll say all one second or you can say one second all okay again we need to add some hover effect so i'll say hover ul and here i'm going to add transform again and i will say rotate zero deg which means degrees and also i'll say translate to y negative one em next is my menu again i will say list so we need to add hover effect on our list okay so i'll say li hover and here i'm going to add background also i'll add z index of 10. now let's refresh save your page and now let's re refresh your web page now let's try to click in you can see there's some beautiful over effect on this menu list come back again here i'm going to add an nth type so i'll say 
menu ally and type okay I will choose end of type and for this end of type I'll choose one and I'll say transform I'll like transform I'll say rotate for my rotation I'll give negative 90 also I'm going to add position to be absolute also I'm going to say left negative 1 em or it should be negative 1.2 em okay also lastly I'm going to add top to be negative 4.2 4, 4 em okay again simply copy this and this will be our second end of type open your curly braces here I'm going to add the same thing so simply I'm going to copy this and for our rotate I will say negative 45d also position is going to be absolute and here is going to be 2 em and this one will be negative 3 again simply copy this we need to create the third end of type change your value to third also this time I'm going to I'm not going to use any transform so I'll remove I don't need that so next here I'm going to say I'm going to say 3.4 also we'll add here I'll change the value to 0.3 em next I will say again we need to do the last one we need to do like five times because we have five menu list okay so this one is going to be the fourth one and this time I'll set it for five dig okay position is going to be absolute and for my top is going to change to 3.7 and it's going to, it's not going to be negative okay remove the negative sign next lastly we're going to do the fifth one and for this one I'll give it 90 dig also position is going to be absolute for my left I will change it to sorry come back to your text editor for my left I'll give it 1.2 em next I will change this one also to be 5 em simply save your file come back to your web browser refresh it so now you can see our background is okay so simply what I'm going to do is we're going to check whether you're going to click this menu icon and you can see we have issues so let's click so still we have some issues okay on our third uh, on our fifth menu list okay come back to your text editor here instead of one I'm going to say negative 1.2 em now save your file come back to your web browser refresh it now you can see this is perfect but still you can see on our menu there's some issues it should be I think it's about, uh, it has to do with the transition so let's go back to our text editor so let's scroll all the way up here so I think this one is okay for our menu ul i transition is one second all i think that's okay so simply now let's check the first one our end of type the first end of type okay should be negative 90 negative negative So I think we don't have any error. Simply just refresh again 
and now you can see we have our complete circular menu design so it shouldn't do this so let's figure that let's solve this problem okay let's go back to our text edit, edit again so guys i think we should correct that mistake because one more time let's go back to the web browser and let's click this menu list menu icon and you can see whenever i reach this the third end of type going to the fourth it start going it start it start disappearing okay it has nothing to do with the rotation so simply let's go back and let's search where we wrote uh, menu ul before okay here this so for this one i'll i'll for my left i'll say 50 instead of 55 55 percent i'll give it 50 percent next i'll add after this top i will add border width and for the border width i'll give it 6.5 yeah now let's save this file refresh your go back to the web browser refresh your web page and now let's try clicking our menu icon and you can see now it is stable we can only when we let it go it goes back to icon so whenever we click it it shows our menu list and now it closes so guys we have completed creating this amazing circular menu design using all html and css so you can see here i have this amazing background color also you can see on we have the menu list and on this menu list you can see there's some beautiful hover effect so guys uh, that's all for today's tutorial and if you think this video was very helpful and kindly please do subscribe to our youtube channel and also share with your friends so till next time bye